name is Loey Lane, and I'm so excited to tell you guys about my new podcast, Internet Urban Legends, with my BFF, Snitchery. We deep dive into the darkest corners of the internet to uncover whether some of the most notorious web myths are hoax or whether they're con. Internet Urban Legends, available exclusively on Spotify. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello. My name is Loey. In the past, you guys have loved videos where I talked about childhood ruining conspiracy theories, and I thought I'd do you one better. Today, I thought we'd take a little trip down nostalgia lane and look into some video games that feel very reminiscent of our childhoods. You know, like Mario 64, or maybe a fun little baking game where you run your own cafe. Except I don't have to remind you whose channel you're on, and you all probably know that these are not nearly as innocent as they seem. Today's video may just ruin childhood memories that you have long since blocked out and have you questioning everything you thought you knew. Before we get into today's video, I want to thank the sponsor, Ritual. It's a new year, and if you're anything like me, recommitting to your own health and wellness goals is at the top of your list. And Ritual is offering you 30% off of your first month of their clean, traceable products so that you can build a habit that lasts the test of time. Ritual's daily multivitamin has been a go-to of mine for years now, but recently I incorporated the Symbiotic Plus Prebiotic, Probiotic, and a Postbiotic into my routine. The following claim is not backed up with science, however, I believe that it is a fact that hot girls have tummy problems. Luckily, the benefits of Symbiotic Plus are backed up with scientific research from Ritual. Prebiotics support the growth and activity of beneficial bacteria already in the gut. Probiotics have amazing benefits for your gut health, and they can actually relieve bloating, gas, and just generally do great things for your gut health. Then a postbiotic provides fuel to the cells that make up like the lining of your gut and also support gut barrier function. These little capsules are made to be taken once a day and it's a delayed reach capsule, meaning that it will reach the colon, not the stomach which is an ideal place for probiotics to thrive and grow. Just like all of Ritual's products, Symbiotic Plus boasts a clean formulation. It also is vegan friendly and is formulated without GMOs, any major allergens, or artificial colors. Start the new year off on the right foot when you go to ritual.com slash 30 and use my code lowylane 30 for 30% off of your first month of Ritual. Once again, that's a massive 30% off of your first month with Ritual. Ritual when you go to ritual.com slash lane 30 and use my code lane 30 Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. And without any further ado, I'm going to ruin your childhoods. The game is called Another Princess is in Our Castle, and it looks like it's straight out of Mario 64. Uh, and I, it's apparently just a demo as well, but was like one of like the trending games in the horror category. I'm very interested to see what this looks like, especially because I never actually played Mario 64, believe it or not. I never played Mario 64. I'm stalling because I'm scared. But yeah, I guess we'll start. Easy, medium, or hard? Peach is average speed. No, we're not running from Princess Peach, are we? Oh no, I think we're... Oh my god, I think we're gonna run from Princess Peach. This is terrible. Okay. We got a key. And we're Mario, man. We already got a key and we're Mario. We are just... We're just running. Oh no, we have a stamina bar. I think we have to survive against Princess Peach. This is terrible. You can't run again into your, until your stamina bar is full, which means you probably have to conserve it. Can I keep going? I probably could. Peach is literally like festering away in this castle apparently. I do love the lantern so much. Oh! Hello! This is terrible. 
I can already tell how much I'm gonna hate this. I can't go in there just yet. I can't go in there just yet. What am I supposed to do? Just check all the doors. Probably go into the one with the star, if I had to imagine. Yeah, none of these work. Yeah, I'd have to imagine. It's that one with the star up there. Okay. I guess we're going in. I need eight statuettes. Where in the world am I supposed to go? Oh no. I'm gonna be so honest with you, this is not bode well. This does not look good. Like, Mario staring in on Peach, silently hovering in the air while he holds a lantern. This can be nothing but bad. Hey, Peach. <laughs> nope. 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 This cannot be good. This cannot be good. This this can only be bad. This can only be so bad. There's a toad? I bet that's a statue. I'm hiding again. I don't know where this girl is. I need to get a feel. <gasps> oh my God, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. No, she didn't see me, right? No! Wait, did she see me? No, 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 she didn't see me. Mario. Yeah, exactly. Mario. Not Mario, you're inside of a chest. Why are you inside of a chest? Okay, all right. I can do this. I can do this. Speed running. I wonder if this would be any easier if you um, had played Mario 64. No. No. No, no, no. Peach, 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 please, peach, peach. Mario. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my god. I love that she saw me go in here and thought, eh, that's fine. She literally, like, Peach's ghost saw me go inside of this treasure chest and was like, where is he? Where did he go? Oh god, that's so scary. Wait, where? No! No, 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 no. Don't know where she is. <gasps> Elle is real. Mario. No. No, Peach. No. I think we're fine. I literally think we're fine. I am a little... No! 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 Please! Please! No! <laughs> Too bad! Too bad, man! Alright, let's go find Peach. Uh, is this is this terrifying for those of you who are like familiar with Mario 64 and have played it and stuff? 
Because it's scary for me, just as someone who obviously knows of Mario, like has played multiple Mario games. Mario! Mario! Is she? the tunnel? Can we go down here? I need a key. Shoot. <gasps> oh, please don't let her see me. Oh, no. Is she gonna catch me anyway down here? no idea where she is. I'm gonna run for it. So Mario never saved Peach in this universe. Now she's lost her soul. Mario! Mario? Why didn't you save me, Mario? Were you too busy out screwing around with Daisy, Mario? I think the Daisy and Peach are gay and they're together. But that's just my thoughts. <laughs> this is so scary. Like, this is significantly scarier Mario. than I thought it was going to be. And honestly, kind of harder, too. Girl, get out of here! <laughs> Why are you walking around so much? Nope, we ain't doing this, Peach. I'm going in here. I'm going in here, and I was right to do it because, girl, you knew exactly where I was. No, no. Mario! Yeah, Mario! You don't know where I am. Goodbye! Thank you. So now there's the one in here. And after we get this one, we can hide down there. <sighs> Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach has nothing, nothing on this fan-made horror game. when you're hungry. You're not you when you're hungry. This is literally me on my period. Like me storming around the house looking. Okay, just gotta see where she goes. Yeah. 
here. We're going to get him. And then we just need three more. Three more! Three more! Okay, this is as high as we've gotten so far. I feel really good about this. I feel good. I feel good about where we are. So now... We've already done this one. I actually think I'm gonna hide for a second just because I'm not sure where next to where to go next. Oh, there she is. Oh my god, I was literally about to get out. I was like, oh, I'm overreacting. I think she went into one of the doors that I needed. Crap. Shoot. I'm gonna hide here as well, actually. Cause I can, I can watch. Cause like this door right here that I'm looking at, we don't need that one cause it goes towards the, um, the like tunnel area and the one that we already got. So we need to go here. And then I think we can also go over here. Or did we do that in the beginning? No, we did top right. So we need to go here and here. And I have to assign, assume we're going to find a key in one of those rooms. Where is she? Usually she like shows up by now. Oh, there she is, oh my God, yeah. She was literally where I was about to go. So I'm gonna go here instead. Is there a thing to hide in in here? Yeah, okay. So this and then here, nice. Okay, so two more, two more. We just need to make sure she doesn't go into the room that we need to go into. <laughs> Outsmarting Peach. Mario! Such a scary noise. Can we trap her? I don't think so. Where is she? I have to know that she's not gonna go into the one room that I'm about to go into. Cause like then all of this was for nothing. So I probably could be doing this faster with like reckless abandon, but I'm too scared. Cause that's the one room I need to go in. And what if she's there? You know? I wonder if she only walks between the rooms that have active um, like items in them. That would be nuts because it's pretty much like here and then I think down in the tunnel, at least I think so. I think that's where I'll probably find the last star. But I just need to know where she is. Peach, please. It's so quiet, it's so quiet. <gasps> okay, okay, she's going upstairs, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's really great, okay. Okay. Nice. Yay, we got seven. We don't have a key though. I, I actually don't know what to do next because we don't have a key. So we can't get into anything. But I'm not sure where the eighth one is. I'm not sure where the eighth one is. Ah, oh, crap. She knows too. She knows I'm almost at the end of this game. Mario! It's really creepy to think about the main room at the top. Can't. We need one more to open the star door. 
which means we've missed something. We don't have any keys. Maybe I should try to go outside. I don't know. Can we go out? outside oh I didn't know we could go you guys are so freaking smart dude you guys are literally so smart it's insane I don't know which one of you was like hey maybe you should check outside and I was like oh I don't know if we can go outside but you're a genius and I'm obsessed with you Okay, so now we just need to get in. No, no, no. Oh, <gasps> no, 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 no. I worked so hard. I worked so hard. I worked so hard. That's the crazy thing, that is we win. Peach the leech and got nothing on Mario. What if Peach has a route she goes in because you were outside, she went to the same side even though you weren't over there that time. That's true, I do also kind of think she has I, I also think she does have a route, but then there are moments like now where I feel like she got to me way faster than she should have. So I think that there is like a light idea of a route, but I also believe that to an extent, Mario. she kind of like spawns where the player is or always checks their last known location or something. Even if there's a delay. Now we actually just have to get up to the star room. So what I'm gonna do is get out of here. I'm gonna hide in the entryway for a minute just to make sure, because it's a long hike up those stairs, baby. And then once we're positive she's not up there, we will go to the star room and we will find out i don't know like are we gonna find peach's soul like are we gonna are we gonna restore peace to peach are we gonna bring back the mushroom kingdom i have no idea what i thought i heard her what the ending of this could possibly entail oh see see that's why you wait that's why we wait because this bitch is everywhere I don't love it when she heads straight towards me. It's really annoying and creepy. All right, just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. Peach is giving mad stalker vibes right now, I know. All right. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. tunnel now oh no oh god i hope we don't have to go to the tunnel then the final door that's so sick 
That's sick. That would be so sad. That would be so sad. Oh man, I bet you do. I bet you do. walking girl you just keep on walking i have learned my lesson i will wait so long i will wait forever if i must i do hate that i'm hiding in this room because it's so the hallway is so long it takes peach so long to like go up and down it she hasn't even come in here is she going to is she gonna come in here No, she's actually camping. All right, so this is the key to the tunnel. So now we go to the tunnel, okay? So we go to the tunnel, and then I assume that's where we get the key to go into the big room upstairs. <sighs> For Campy McCamper face. If you could make her a meal that you think could like settle her soul, what would it be? Because if I had to make this girl a meal, I'd probably make her some like chicken and gnocchi soup. You know what I mean? Like something really hearty and like filled with like flavor and nutrients and like I think she'd feel better if she just had like imagine eating just like half of a sleeve of Ritz crackers. That's literally solved every problem I've ever had. Is you know those little stack fresh ones? Like the little stack fresh see, and that's why we wait, she was literally where I was about to go. Um she, we we just like eat Ritz crackers. Maybe maybe we eat a little cheese with them. Could be good. Ooh. All right, cool. Excuse me, oh my God. Like nervous noises. Oh my God, I thought the game crashed. I thought the game crashed. Okay, so that was it. That was it. It was just getting to that room and that was the demo. I thought that was really cool. I think that they'll probably be coming back with, um, you know, a full version of this game. And if they do, I think it could be really, really cool. Like, even what we were just seeing so far in the game was really, really fun. And as someone who had never, ever played Super, uh, Mario 64, like, I still really liked that. And it still kind of invoked that weird nostalgic, like, ooh, this is creepy. Childhood ruining feelings. We're, we're brought up. Look at how cozy this is. Look how cute and how cozy and just like, oh my God, like so pleasant. A cozy horror game is literally my entire channel. It's so cute. It's always the really, really cute ones that end up being the absolute creepiest. So I'm feeling pretty good. Start. Oh, let's start fresh, baby. We need that tutorial. Bonnie sweeps the floor and dusts the windows. Today is going to be another big day. Customers are already making a line outside her bakery. She opens the door and they all scamper in. She looks at the crowd with a warm smile. Hi crowd, hi friends. This could not be bad in any capacity. A regular customer pops out of the crowd and gives Bonnie a friendly pat on the back. Hey, Bonnie. Bear, this is Bear. Hey, Bonnie, old friend. I'd like to bake one of your famous red velvet cakes for an event coming up. You wouldn't mind sharing the recipe with little old me, now would you? Teehee, oh, Bear, you're so silly. A master chef never reveals her secret recipe. The two laugh heartily. Alrighty then, I'll stop bothering ya. Just like that, Bear sits down with the rest of the customers. Phew, looks like it's time to get baking. Yeah! Oh. oh, I see Bear has already sat down. We have to make some pastries. Hmm. 
Let's see what he wants today. It looks like he wants the okay. red velvet. The red velvet cake, what a good choice. All right. Alrighty, let's start baking them. I should click on the prep station to bring it up. Okay, so we... Um. Oh dear, how do I make okay. red velvet again? I should check my recipe book. Um, okay. Let's see, I can flip through pages by clicking the right and left arrows. Once I find the recipe I'm looking for, I should be able to click on it to look at it while baking. Okay. Okay, this time I'm just gonna keep the recipe up. Cool. Uh, how do I? Oh, oh, that's how, okay. Put these items into the stand mixer. Flour, so flour, sugar, Flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat, and red. Just red? Why is it just red? Um, next. Oh, that's what I had to do, got it. Okay, so flour. Wait, can I drag you? Oh, no, I literally have to put it in. Okay, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat, and red. Now to mix it. Okay. Then we can pour the batter into the cake tin. Oh. Now then. And now we bake it. Oh, my God, we made a cake. We made a red cake. And red is not suspicious at all. Okay, so do I just tap on him? Or... Oh, no, okay. How do I move? Do I move? All right. Oh, I just click on them. Okay, another customer well served. Right. It's a good thing Bear is the first customer so I can serve him first. I know a lot of customers run out of patience. Okay. Well, the day's just getting started. Time to really get to work. See you later, Bear. Oh, I can probably make some other things while I'm waiting for customers. Let's see. I can drop, just drop what I make on one of those plates and save it for later. Okay. Something random for now, and if I make a mistake, I can click the trash can to reset the station. Or if I put the wrong ingredients in the mixer, I can just hit the mix button to reset them. Off to the prep station. Okay. So we'll go back and then what should we make this time? If we just wanna make something random, we can make white donuts. I, I like anything that doesn't have so much red. Red. So sugar, milk, eggs, flour. Oh wait, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and fat. Then we mix and then we wanna take that dough. We wanna put it on the cutting board. Then we're gonna roll it out. Mm, and then we have to cut it! We paint it and we made it into a donut. Wow. Why is this the best? I don't like the, the this here. Like, this is clearly supposed to be powdered sugar. Why is it just called white? Like, why is it just white? What is white and what is red? I don't think I like it. That was quick. They wanted a meat bun. But instead of M-E-A-T, it's meat bun. Okay. I'm a little, I'm a little. All right, we're gonna turn down the music more. White, just white. All right, so they want a meat bun. So we'll go to the cookbook. This is so much fun. I, I don't know if I trust that at all. So we need flour, milk, and eggs. Bring some meat. Why is it spelled like that? Why is it spelled like that? Bring it up to the cutting board. Then we, ch oh, so we should mix that and then we chop the meat. Bring the dough to the cutting board. Did I do that right? Yeah! Yeah, I made it a meat bun! Okay, so I have to plate it and then... Oh no, I have to come serve it. See, every time I... Okay, sometimes it just oh takes my. you like clicking around a bit. All right, let's keep this up. 
What do they want? I have no idea what that is. A pastry, just a pastry. So now we need flour, sugar, and fat. We're gonna mix that, put that onto the cutting board, roll it out, put fat on it, and then bake it in the oven. Man, this being a chef stuff is easy. Easy peasy. I really, I think it about, oh wait, I think we already have a donut. Yeah, we can serve the donut. Just serve that. Heck yeah. Another donut, okay. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen because right now this is just very fun and very cute. I'm having a great time. Sugar, milk, eggs, and fat. Oh, sugar, I forgot. Sugar, wait, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and fat. And then we take that cutting board, roll it out, cut it, bake, and then we just need to do some white. Whatever that means. There we go. Another red velvet. Oh man, she's literally serving them all each other, isn't she? That's gonna be the big reveal. She's like taking people hostage. Eggs, fat, and red. So mix into the cake tin, bake. Voila! Oh wait, shoot, we don't even know. A donut, yeah! Okay. Um, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat, mix, dough on the cutting board, roll it out, and then bake it, and then wait, and we're done. So far it's just like, let's do this. Oh, here comes the lunch, lunch rush time to get serious. Oh God, okay, okay, this is gonna be quick. Who is coming in here and just ordering cake for their lunch break? I kind of admire them. Fat and red. Oh my God, we have to make two of them? Uh, all right, uh, who was here first? You were. Okay, so now another one. Flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat, red, mix. I guess I could also prep the meat, uh, maybe. Okay, they want a meat bun. I'm focusing so hard right now, it's absolutely crazy. Um, flour, milk, eggs, oh crap. Flour, milk, eggs. Oh, and then we just have to bake it. Ah, there you are. Okay. This is so much fun. I'm having the best time ever. Uh, flour, sugar, uh, flour, sugar, fat. Like, I know that there are sinister undertones here. I'm still having the best time literally ever. Like, I'm just, I'm just so enjoying myself. <laughs> Uh, who is the angriest? I guess you are. Oh no, you were! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, flour, sugar, fat, mix. Sorry, chat, I'm focusing so hard right now. We gotta make, we have to make the best damn pastries of our lives. Okay, now it's time for a meat bun. I'm chop you up. Um, maybe I'll memorize these at some point. That's flour, milk, eggs, mix, dough, bake. Heck yeah, baby. Who, who, who? There you are. Okay, time for donut. Um, huh, my donuts. Fl <laughs> flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat, mix. Cutting board, roll it out, make it into a donut, put it in the oven, sprinkle some mysterious white powder on it, give it to your loving customer. 
Oh, got it. It's you. You're so mad. Okay. Oh, God. Red velvet. I don't even know if I can make one that quick. Oh, my God. This is going to be so hard. Um, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat, and red mix. Cake tin. Bake. Okay. Who? Who? You! You! You wanted it. Oh, no. You also wanted one. This is terrible. Okay. 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 Flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat, red, mix. Cake pan, oven. <laughs> oh God! Oh no, it was you. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, they want a pastry, 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 pastry. Oh, was that it? Oh, that wasn't it. Okay, I thought we were taking a break. I thought something happened. No, why is everybody ordering a pastry? Uh, flour, sugar, fat, mix. What, what was that noise? That's literally never happened before. Was it somebody leaving? Oh God, please don't leave. Flour, sugar, eggs, mix. Oh, did I do that wrong? Oh my God, I thought I, I, thought I understood how to make the pastry. Flour, sugar, fat, mix. Cutting board, fat, no. Oh God, I have to roll it out first. Fat. Okay, 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 okay. Who's so angry? You're so angry. You're so mad. Okay, uh, flour, sugar, fat, mix. And then you put it on here, and then you roll it out, and you put more fat on it, and then you put it in the oven, and then you hurry, and you take it to your really angry customer, and then we are, there's no way I'm gonna get through all of these. I'm just gonna keep making um, flour, wait, oh. Oh God, thank you, Jesus, all done. Ah, oh, rough day today, huh? That's okay, we all make mistakes sometimes. Hey, on the plus size, you can save on ingredient costs. Haha. <laughs> huh. I guess I'm still getting the hang of things. I'm glad you opened the bakery. It's nice to have a place to relax and take my mind off things. I never knew we lived in such a dangerous neighborhood. It's so scary. People are disappearing without a trace. Almost as if they've been... erased. Huh. It's definitely been scary. Stay safe out there, Bear. You too, Bonnie. See you around. Bye-bye. Of course. Bear leaves as Bonnie cleans up the bakery. Now then. It's been a busy day. <laughs> Time to get some fresh ingredients. for now. You, you can still move. Take your chance while she's distracted with the other one. Don't look so grim, especially since you have a chance to escape. You're so fresh. You still have all your wits about you. Among other things. Listen to me. Find Bonnie's notes and save yourself. She's hidden the key code, but you can decipher it. If you can decipher it, you can escape through the door! Don't let her see you. Don't let her hear you. She sees you come back here. Bonnie is much kinder to the compliant ones. <gasps> oh God! back here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh! Okay, there's a note over here. 
This is terrifying. Bonnie, what the heck? Bonnie. Oh, I hate it every time I knock that thing of blood over. It's red. Oh my God, she's so scary. Oh, I bet that when we knock over those cans, it's probably a signal to her. Which probably means I should be a lot more careful, but here we are. Okay. We have two notes. Uh, how did we get another game like this? Literally after the Princess Peach stuff. skull on your head, Mr. Panda, sir. Okay, there's nothing else over here. Man, you make so much noise walking around this place. Oh god. I'm also disappointed in Bonnie! We were sitting there cooking her cakes, judging her red, but you know, thinking maybe she got it ethically sourced. And no, she's just keeping all of these people, all of these animals. This panda has no arms or legs. Like what the hell is wrong with her? I guess realistically, I only really need the coat. You know what I mean? Wait, oh my god, wait! The first day I opened the bakery was the happiest day of my life. I was nervous that there wouldn't be any customers, but seven people came in to eat. It looked like they didn't enjoy what I made, but maybe that's just the nerves talking. Yeah, it's just the nerves. Week four of having the bakery and things aren't getting better. That poor bunny. I spent three hours trying to heal the injuries, but it's only getting worse. She keeps getting more and more anxious. I'm trying my best, but it's not enough. I hope she can get better soon. I'm going to keep trying. Wow, there's like a lore. There's like a lore. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Nobody, please. I'm in the safe zone. I'm in the safe zone. Ha ha. Ha ha. Doesn't matter that I escaped. I'm in the safe zone. Tee hee. Wait, so this spells out a whole story. So two and three is probably what happened to this little bunny or something like that. So it looks like, okay, something happened to the bunny. Bonnie is actively trying to heal this bunny after opening up the bakery in note four. I spent three hours trying to, oh, it's the code seven, three, Got it. Got it. Okay. But the question mark note is I didn't know what to do. Spooky. Who 
are you? What are you doing here? Actually, I'm not surprised. You were always doing weird things around this bakery. I guess you had the right idea all along. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh! I wonder who I am. Okay. There's a letter over here. Is this where she... Oh, oh no. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, so note number three. We're just missing note number two. Three weeks and I'm not and not a single customer. I'm going to have to close down at this rate. No one is interested in my baking, so why should I even bother? Someone knocked on the door. It was a bunny with seven terrible injuries. I let her stay inside my bakery to rest. I don't think we are the bear because the next the next day after we died like this character died clearly was like hacked to shit <laughs> by Bonnie um the bear came in for a cake So we're just missing one more note. One more note, we should know where the last, or what the last number is. <gasps> why, buddy, why? wasn't gonna hide again, but... balance. I can't find my balance. I thought I'd be safe if I hid back here. Then I lost a limb. Help me. <gasps> no, 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 no. back to the safe zone so we can read these notes. Okay. Phew! Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay! Okay! This is so sad. Alright. So, it's been two weeks since I opened the bakery. I had to restock the pantry with eggs today. I bought a whole crate for just two dollars. What a steal. Sadly, no one came in to eat. I guess the townsfolk don't really like my pastries. 
So basically nobody liked the pastries. Why why am I making sounds? Please, please, calm down. Calm down. Hello, Panda. We're lucky. It looks like she took someone else for now. You. You can still move. Take your chance. Okay. Don't let her see you. Don't let her hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already went through all that. Okay. So. It looks like the, um, the code is seven. And then it's two. Seven, two, seven. Seven, two, seven, three. This is a question mark. I didn't know what to do. I assume there's nothing here for that. And then three. So seven, two, seven, three, three. She's kind of like lingering around here more. The audio effects for this game are terrifying. Sweet mother of God, E seven two seven three three. Oh, we got out! We did it! We got out! You escaped from Bonnie's bakery, finally free from that horrifying place. Nothing can erase those terrible smells and screams from your memories. Nothing. You go tell the townsfolk about Bonnie's crimes, and as you dashed away, you ran with such fear and vigor that you failed to notice that the notes you had were slipping away into the wind. Bonnie watched you carefully from within her bakery as you sprinted away too quickly for her to give chase. After an annoyingly slow day, Bonnie had swiftly taken care of the rest of her ingredients. She always felt better with a clean basement after all. She disappeared quickly into the cellar to finish the job and clear her mind. You, on the other hand, would not have as much luck finding peace. Hmm, I don't know. That doesn't sound like something Bonnie would do. Yeah, is this a prank or something? You're seriously saying this stuff again? This is the last straw. The townsfolk ignore your plea. No one believes you, and some even call you a liar. Ever since that day, you live in fear and paranoia. You live alone now, far away from that cursed town. But even though you've already thrown your old life away, you always have an aching suspicion that someone is watching you. Ending four out of five feet! Oh my god, she's so scary! She's so scary. She's literally terrifying. Oh my god. That was so scary! Okay, I loved that. That was so much fun. I knew it was going to be so much fun, but that was terrifying. Terrifying, but it was so cool. I really, I had such a good time. Wow, Bonnie's Bakery, man. Bonnie is not as innocent as she seems. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you very, very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!